Now, India is preparing for its largest IPO or initial public offering. It's starting on May 4th, which is tomorrow. The company will be opening for subscriptions. The price band is set between 902 and 949 rupees per share. What does this IPO mean for the Indian economy? How much is the government expected to make? Let's find out in this story. In India, you don't buy insurance. You buy an LIC policy. That's how popular the company is. Its journey began way back in 1956. The Indian Parliament nationalized the insurance industry. Over 245 insurance companies were merged to create what is now a household name, the Life Insurance Corporation of India. Today, it's a financial juggernaut. 290 million policyholders, total life fund of 28.3 trillion rupees, annual policy sales worth 21.4 million rupees and pretty soon you could join in on the profits because LIC is going public. The IPO will open on the 4th of May and will remain open until the 9th of May. The public issue is worth around 21,000 crore rupees. And the price band between 902 to 949 rupees per share. India has been expecting this IPO for a while now. It was supposed to happen a few months back. Why was this issue delayed and why did we not see this come up as originally planned in in February or March? Uh, I think that's a time when we had the uh, Russia-Ukraine conflict which had just started. There were too many uncertainties uh, floating around. The government intends to offload 3.5% of their state. Initially, the plan was to raise 60,000 crore, but the revised target is 21,000 crore. Despite the cut, LIC will be India's largest ever IPO. We know the market. Uh, we've been investment managers for decades now. We know how things pan out. Uh, and we believe we have the confidence that this can happen. A war, pandemic, not exactly happy times for the economy. So why go through the IPO now? for a number of reasons. One is obviously the money. After subtracting the tax and the fees, the proceeds will go to the government of India. A brand makeover. New insurance companies are entering the market. LIC must reinvent to keep up, to stay relevant with the new generation. I mean, LIC's pension plans or uh, 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 bonus plans have been very, very popular uh, going back even 40 years. And if I look at that generational change, LIC over the next five to 10 years would have to adapt itself uh, more from context point of view. How are they going to be relevant to the young Indian audience? Experts say LIC is a share to buy. Strong fundamentals, massive scope for expansion, plus a legendary name in India. Starting May 17th, LIC will begin trading in the secondary market. After conquering Insurance Street, could Dalal Street be the next for LIC? We'll know soon enough. South Asia Bureau, Vion, World is One. Vion, now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.